Oh, what's up, man? What's it doing? Like, when does it get hot? And like, what do you? She said it was driving and just kept overheating. And she had to fill it back up. So it's like draining its coolant. I think so. Okay. All right. You got the keys on you? Cool. Let me see where the coolant levels at. All right, so we're full. Let me go ahead and start it. I'm gonna grab my scanner. I'm gonna see how long it takes until it starts to overheat because it's got plenty of, as long as it has that coolant in it and if you're overheating still with coolant in it, then it's a problem within the system, you know what I mean? But if you're overheating because you lost coolant, then that's a, a different problem. You have a leak that we have to figure out, you know what I mean? But you do have an engine light on. All right, so we are a little hot right now. So our cooling fans kicked on on high there. So let's see if we're cooling down. All right, let's turn on this heater. All right, so. We are overheating, we do have coolant, your cooling fans are turning on. It's not getting past the thermostat itself into the engine. So that thermostat stuck closed, if that makes any sense, you know what I mean? Yeah. So it's just, we'll need to replace that thermostat and then, I don't believe that you'll need like a water pump or anything like that. But there's no leaks or anything like that, but that's just filled up and I can feel it's not, you can feel over the years just you can just grab a hose in anybody even not even fucking a mechanic but just grabbing a hose you can feel coolant or water whatever's going through a water hose you can feel it coming out you know what i mean coming going through this is just dormant you know what i mean you can grab that and feel it it's there's nothing to it so on a um an engine especially if you're overheating it'll be rushing that coolant in there if that thermostat's fully open it'll be rushing that coolant in there to cool the engine down. Did y'all ever have a problem with the heater not working? Uh, I think about a couple weeks ago. Okay, yeah. Yeah, and that's another telltale sign too. And so if you start to like have a problem where you're not getting sufficient heat or your heat starts to cut out. Um, so I'll try to explain it a little bit better. So like, dude, when you put coolant in through here, it like goes through your radiator and that's kind of where it cools down because your cooling fans are sucking air through it you know what i mean cool it down then it goes into here and then it goes to your thermostat so once your thermostat gets hot enough it, it like has this little spring looking deal and it kind of closes fully and it allows that um or well it opens but when you do it it looks like it closes anyways it allows all that coolant to go through and then that coolant will go through your engine block it'll go through the entire cooling system and then right back there is your heater core see these lines here going into the car so that's your heater core and then so when the coolant goes through the engine block to the heater core um then you'll your freaking blower motor will start blowing that heat just like how this coolant fan's sucking that heat it'll start blowing that heat to you and so if you start to feel no heat then there's a restriction there somewhere nine times out of ten it's because you need coolant and you have a bad leak but um in retrospect if you don't then it's telltale thumb rule of thumb is just it's a freaking thermostat problem but then how to investigate it um without just replacing it and having having a kind of an idea of it just hold that hose and then you can feel you can squeeze it you can do whatever you want to it and kind of just feel if any type of coolant is even going through there so that's all you need man we'll just have to swap that thermostat out but by the looks of it dude it didn't even it didn't cool down at all so i wouldn't sorry i have the hiccups i wouldn't try to drive it until you replace that you know what i mean hey guys so sadly enough he only needed my diagnosis and he did his own repair because the thermostat's right there i shouldn't have showed him everything you know what i mean i basically told him how to do it but anyways that happens sometimes and uh, i like to be educational so 
you know it helps to show the customer especially man when it's something as simple as like a thermostat you know what i mean it's good it's helpful it's mindful just to know how to check or you know what the symptoms of a bad a bad thermostat because people will get thrown through a loop i've had a person say that they think they have they have a bad head gasket but anyway so he did the repair himself he messaged me and he said everything works great um i just i did have to walk him through the bleeding process of it but um that's all good man he said the heater works everything's working uh we are going to go over there in like a week or two to check out the power steering though so let's get it